Hello. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Chris Hussain, and I've been in the IT industry for about 20 years. Yep, 20 years, and mainly in the application development. So recently, I had a pleasure of consulting for a client in the data governance space. One of their priority was to accelerate the data set certification process. So they were in the process of establishing a workflow where the data steward would review each asset or data set for specific attributes. For example, they'll say, okay, does this data set have its data sensitivity classified to private, public, PII, PHI, and so on and so forth? Does it have a IT custodian? Does it have a, a long description, short description? So like that, they had about 15 attributes per data asset or asset uh, itself that um, they needed to complete. So naturally, what I'm thinking is you need an Angular front end, you need a REST API, maybe in C Sharp, um, you need application gateway, you need some way of logging in the users because you need to tell them, okay, these are the assets that you're assigned to manage. Um, your manager can see your stuff and your coworker stuff, but you can only see yours and so on and so forth. But uh, client already decided on the low code platform, uh, mainly because some of the things that I just mentioned, such as logging in, it was already taken care of. Um, uh, and also, most importantly, they already had subject matter experts in Microsoft Power Apps. My task was to solution the plumbing. Mainly, how do we get the data from cloud to on-premises? Because that's where the metadata repository was for the system of record. Since throughout this project, um, we touched a lot of good concepts. We tried things that worked, things that did not work. So my objective is um, to make a video for, the, for future reference uh, for the team that we did this work, as well as people who are interested. So this video part one will be the, where I explain how this application works. Um, then wait to get some feedback from you, which tells me, okay, what, what your areas of interest are. Then I'll do a deep dive on those areas and skim through the areas that people don't find any interest. Okay, so let's keep going. Um, let's take a look at the agenda and kind of get an idea of what's coming up next. Um, so we already talked about the requirements. Uh, we'll go over it one more time. But the main focus of this part is going to be the high level architecture. Technologies and implementation details that will come next. Even though when I go through the high level architecture, it gets a glance of what technologies are used. Okay. Now, um, just to reiterate one more time, we are creating an application that accelerates the data certification process, right? So the data steward's objective is to put a data set through bronze, then silver, then gold certificate. We talked about bronze has eight or 10 attributes that needs to be completed. Silver has few more in addition to bronze, then gold has few more in addition to silver. So this is the progression. Now, the data steward can do this by picking an individual asset and updating attributes, uh, or they can do this in bulk, in which case they're downloading macro enabled spreadsheet, which automatically downloads the uh, pipeline of assets that is either assigned or delegated to the specific data stewards. Uh, then the data steward updates the spreadsheets and submits. Once they submit, there's a flow that uh, picks up the spreadsheet that and updates the Azure storage account. And from then on, the Azure Data Factory um, puts the data into a relational database. Uh, from Azure SQL, there's another flow that 
uh, calls a REST API on-prem using the data on-premise data gateway to update the uh, IBM's IGC endpoint. That's where the system of record is uh, for metadata repository. So this kind of concludes the um, overall data flow. Again, we have Power Apps where the user is interacting with, and then we have um, the backend where most of our uh, most of the resources are on Azure. Then the the Power BI dashboard in this case is mainly to monitor the UAT and the pilot phase to see how many requests are being submitted, what's failing, what's proceeding, how long each step takes. It just it's a good indication that tells us, or at least this dashboard will give us a good indication of what's working and what's not working, and if it's working, okay, is it meeting the expectation? So this is the project in a nutshell. Please leave your comments below and I'll make sure I cover areas of interest for the next videos. Thank you in advance for your feedback. I hope your time was worth a while. Thank you again.